This is a special playoff edition of Toronto FC HQ presented by IKEA and I am Gareth Wheeler. The countdown is on to the return leg as Toronto FC comes back to BMO Field with a 2-1 aggregate lead over the New York Red Bulls in the Eastern Conference semi-final. It was a sloppy, wet, damp, cool Thursday of training, which is a good test run for Toronto FC as these similar conditions are supposed to play out on Sunday. It's calling for rain in the forecast about 15 16 degrees Celsius so very similar conditions but enough about the weather let's get to the team news and there remains two injury concerns in Toronto FC squad center back Drew Moore after leaving after 45 minutes with an ankle injury he's still deemed to be questionable for Sunday's return leg as is Victor Val Vasquez dealing with a pelvis injury that forced him from the match early as well Vasquez addressed the media updated his condition and he's still quietly confident that he'll be able to play come Sunday. Yeah, I'm confident that I, I can be there, but you never know. I have a lot. I still have pain in my in the bone, you know, in the pelvic. But it's it's a bit weird because a uh, uh, few moments it's going well. Then I start to feel it like it's a bit swollen also and we will see. Now I feel better, but it's still three, three, four days to go. The panic button should not be pressed if Moore and Vasquez cannot go come Sunday. As Toronto FC proved time and time again over the season, they have the deepest squad in Major League Soccer. Nick Haglin came on and did very well replacing Moore after the half. And in the midfield positions, both Armando Cooper and Jonathan Osorio came into the match as substitutes against the Red Bulls and both put forward strong performances. If Greg Vanny turns to a player like Osorio comes Sunday, Sunday. Jonathan understands what it's like to play big games at BMO Field and is relishing the opportunity. We're always confident being at home, whether it's a playoff game or friendly or whatever. Whatever is at stake, we, we know at home uh, um, we're a very hard team to beat uh, as well. You know, I expect a really, really good crowd on Sunday and, and that always helps as well. So um, I think it's, it's, a, it's a big advantage for us that we have this lead going at home and uh, but we have to be smart with it because we we will we, we will be playing a team that uh, is going to come out with everything. It's such a benefit for TFC to have so much flexibility not only in terms of formation but different players they can bring in the side and because of the makeup of this group goes a long way to Toronto FC feeling confident ahead of Sunday's matchup. Not only did they come away with the two away goals but they're going back home a place where they only lost one match on the season that was to the Montreal impact. In fact, over the past 13 months, TFC has made BMO Field an absolute fortress. Dating back to last October 1st, the team in 22 games have compiled a 17-4-1 record. Good for 56 goals in just 20 against. It's that kind of confidence that comes along with playing at home that has the te team feeling very good about their chances come Sunday. The crowd's fantastic. The guys, uh, they love to get out and play in front of the, the home fans. It's, um, yeah, I think obviously we've had a strong season on the road and, and at home too. So, but I think the guys, there's just a little bit more that they dig into when when we're at home field and we have the the great fans behind us and uh, we've been able to utilize that momentum as as we've played these games. So. Means a lot for us because we, like you said, we we lose only one game. We are pretty confident at home, also away, but at home more with our fans and with all the all the crowd, you know, but we will see because they are an aggressive team. We, we already see many times and we have to do our job to finish this, this uh, semi-final. I think we don't want to be content even though we have uh, the lead being at home. Uh, I think all year we've been solid uh, at home and the fans have a big part uh, to do with that. So we're just going to try to continue to do well at home and that's uh, to be difficult to play against and hopefully we can get one on the offensive end, one or two on the offensive end. We'll be here all week long counting down to kick off Sunday's massive second leg clash against the New York Red Bulls. The Come On You Reds podcast coming out. Send your thoughts to myself and Terry Dunfield and start making your weekend plans accordingly it's the Budweiser pre-match party goes down hey it starts early on Sunday you better be ready 11 30 a.m. at the brazen head and you want to make sure you're part of the march to the match as well it all gets underway kickoff shortly after 3 p.m. on Sunday at BMO field you don't want to miss it come on you Reds